Hello and welcome to Be Open at Las Vegas. We have ourselves a late night 1.8k strength of field single split. Ooh, are you ready for this? <laughs> um, we got 33 cars in here. It just barely didn't split. So unfortunately, I'm a little worried we might end up with a caution fest, but I've been wrong before. Uh, but we do have guys with like 400 I rating in here, 800, and uh, um, that's a little concerning. I mean, hopefully, may, you know, hopefully it'll be fine. I mean, they could be nice and stable, even if they are uh, down there in I rating. Uh, we just got ourselves an OSR setup, and I got the chat muted right now because they were being real chatty. Uh, we got ourselves an OSR set up right now. It seems okay. I think I'm okay with it. Any speed I don't have is probably just from my own lack of skill. It seems like it might be more of a long run setup. Because uh, it does get a lot of rotation. And uh, maybe a little bit too much for a fast lap. But that's okay. I would actually prefer a long run setup. So we'll take a, uh, what's more than likely going to be a slower, uh, lower starting position, if it means I can last, like, uh, do better in the long run, is what I'm trying to say. Words are hard. Especially when you're driving. Turns 1 and 2, very loose. Like I said, with this setup. Uh, lots of rotation. And then, uh, a little tighter in 3 and 4. Still on cold tires, it can get sideways, but very interesting how one and two seem a lot slicker than three and four here. So we'll get an okay lap in there and then maybe push a little bit more here. We'll see how that turns out. And a little bit too loose there. Just real hard to handle on these cold tires. Alright, is this going to be better or worse? I'm not sure. Let's see, 1682 a That puts you, off the pace. You've just done right. Did I hit two 168s in a row, or did I...? <laughs> I'm confused. Because I looked at it, did I hit two 168s back to back, or am I losing my mind? We'll see in a minute, I guess. Uh, right now I'm going to practice a green flight pit stop. A little bit tricky. You have to slow it down quite a bit. Heading into the pits here, all the way down to 50. Watch your speed limit in the pits. But it looks okay. I practiced it a couple times. Feeling pretty good about it. I'll just have to keep in mind. I'll have worn tires if we, by some miracle, actually get green flag pit stops. Sometimes these uh single splits can surprise you because guys just spread out so they can't run into each other. <laughs> I think we're definitely going to get some wrecks here. It can easily loop on people. So, a little bit off the pace here, as I kind of expected. But that's okay. We seem to be in the top half of the people that have qualified anyway. Ooh, we are falling pretty uh, precipitously, though. Like rain. Dropping like rain. Uh, I'm not sure how the tires will develop, but I think think it should be pretty good. Settings I went with are 12 to 1. Uh, 65 brake bias, but not going to use it other than hitting into the pits. And uh, I wouldn't mess with the tape on this setup either, because it seems like it's already pushing the water temps a little bit. So, um, once you get lo longer in the run, you have to lift off more, and then the temps go down. So, I I'm okay with where it is. The tape. Tenth at the moment. Just a couple more people to go. We might lose another spot or two, but doing okay. I'm okay with that. As long as I don't get caught in some wreck, which is actually not a very low possibility. So I'm a little nervous, but hopefully we get to run for a while. They are real chatty. <laughs> that guy likes turtles. Oh, I'm a little nervous about this one. People are kind of being a little crazy. 
My first Xfinity race, so I won't fight anyone hard. I don't know if they're memeing or if they actually, this really is their first race. Sometimes people jokingly say like, hey, first time in a race car. Hope I don't crash. Ha <laughs> ha. Just to scare people. But he might be telling the truth. Um, That's the end of the session. P11. Right. Yeah, you can see there. They have a lot to say. So we dropped one more spot. That'll put us on the inside. So that's kind of, I'm okay with that. Yeah, pretty nervous about this one, though. I don't think I'm, I've got P2 speed. I think I'll be happy with a top 10. I think that would be a nice, nice finish for me. I think I'll just be happy not to wreck though. If I can make it all the way through this one, I think I'll be pretty happy. And hopefully we get some green flag running. Line up on the inside. So, heading out here, three sets of tires. All right, that's interesting too. Seems like usually they give you like 38 sets of tires, so that actually might be, uh, that might bring some strategy into it, depending on when the cautions come out. That's interesting. Crew Chief's ready to tell me about fuel and hopefully not mislead me. The only time it's ever misled me is during the league races, and I think that's just because it's the ARCA car in a, in a strange amount of laps or something. Like, maybe it's not set up to be able to do that properly, because... Well, you don't normally get long races in the ARCA car, so... Um, so far, any other time, Crew Chief's been good and uh, knows how to do math, so... Get a quick drink here before we start going. Alright. It's Monday night. After I finished with work, and I was excited to give this one a go. So that's why we're here late night single split. Because I want to race. I was racing home to get some racing done. There are three additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good Just run. finished up with the Arca race that I assume has been uploaded before this one. P11, 90 laps. That was a pretty fun one at Rockingham. Still got a lot to learn with that combo. But I enjoyed my race there. We need to follow car number 19. And we're going to be rolling here soon. I am extra nervous about this one. I really am. Because I think we're going to get a lot of people spinning on cold tires. I think there's a pretty good possibility that happens. I just hope it's not right in front of me or something. Of course, maybe it's just that uh, I have that this looser setup potentially, so maybe I'm a little bit more on edge than other people are. What gear are we starting on? I think it's first gear. Especially if we're going to be going that slow. Seems like first gear's fine, not getting much tire spin, so we'll be ready for our first gear start. Hopefully people in front of us are also in first gear, if that's the way to be. I think we'd, uh, I would prefer to get a good jump. Not have to wait behind someone, but it is a long race, so... I will wait for them if necessary. But I'll, I'll be all grumpy about it. <laughs> Not really. I don't care that much. First place is hanging back from the pace car a little bit, so that might be they're jumping early. So I'm going to keep a close eye on them right now. Can't see them. That's not good. Okay. Figured it out. I watched P2 instead. I figured that's the next best thing. Got some bumps down here we gotta worry about. Seems like we hit them just fine though. Lots of bumps between turns one and two. You really have to watch out for them. You can really send your car all kinds of places you don't want to go. Real loose here in three and four. I felt it getting loose, but we're okay. I didn't really expect to get here alongside that guy, but we do. Ooh, is that contact ahead? Stay 
Alright. Move forward a little bit. I'm not pushing all too hard. Just being uh, extra careful not to loop the thing. Mmm, real bad bumps. Like I said, they can get you good. I kind of try to do that middle-ish lane to avoid it as much as possible, but there's basically bumps all over the track. I think the biggest bumps are probably at the bottom. And then you got some up top as well. I can really get to you. Got some <laughs> Garfield cart in front of us. That's funny. Garfield's driving in front of us. That crazy cat and his lasagnas and Mondays. It is Monday, too. I feel like that's bad luck, having a Garfield car on a Monday. So we've moved forward a little bit, probably because I'm killing my tires unnecessarily. Like I said, I think this car might be okay on longer runs. We'll find out. And it feels like we're on the right rear pretty good, so... I, f I feel kind of okay, but we'll see. Turns 3 and 4 are where it's really going to start getting tight and really mattering having better tires. So we'll find out as soon as uh, it gets tight whenever it starts doing weird stuff in 3 and 4. I'm not going to get alongside him quite yet. Did not feel like I was there. That's my exit, though. Cool with that. There's the crew chief worrying about water temps. I think it's okay, though. Like I said, it'll go down a little bit once we start lifting more as the tires are there. I, feel, I just feel like I'm uh, I'm on the right rear enough that it's okay to go a little harder through one and two. And then three and four, I'm going to give bigger lifts. And then wait till I'm on exit before getting on the gas again. And that's kind of my plan for now. But uh, don't rush out there and follow my lead until you see what I'm looking like on lap 40 or something, because... That might be when I'm getting passed by the whole field. <laughs> Got the dash up for a second because I wanted to just take a peek at what the water temps are doing. I think they're just fine now. Free Chief is paranoid as usual, so I don't know. put that away. Get that out of my face. We're up here with the leader, not too far away. That's cool. Still getting some nice rotation, mid to late corner, in one and two. Give it ye old lift of the gas right here. Patience to get back on the throttle, and we're good. We even got some uh, draft to help us out. That well, sucks, that Sean guy that was saying it was his first Xfinity race has left. He must have had issues, that stinks. Better luck to him next time if he was telling the truth about it being his first Xfinity race. I hope he doesn't give up on it because this car is great. I love this car. Patience. Alright. Starting to feel it a little bit more. Like I said, feeling it in 3 and 4 mostly. The uh, tire's getting worn, that is. We're keeping up just fine. We actually took two and a half seconds back to sixth place. That's pretty significant. I didn't realize we had pulled out that quite that far. So that's comforting. About half a second back to the guy behind, so... I haven't really pulled away from him, but that's okay. Number three, I know he's pretty fast. I've raced against him and finished behind him a couple times, so... 
not a not the end of the world if he ends up passing us later. He is a, a talented racer. Ooh, that's a little bit too much gas. Gonna back it down a little bit more. Oh, he's starting to feel a little bit tight exiting too now. Driving is coming back to haunt me. Just gotta try to keep up with what the car wants to do. So, backing it down there, not pushing tight, helps us have a little bit better of a corner that time. And we'll do the same here. And there we go, that's a little bit better. I think that uh, was nicer to the tires and actually was a bit quicker maybe. Just a touch. Oh, yeah. And there's a caution. That's okay. Uh, I'm actually pretty pleased with the fact that we made it about 14 laps given the uh, 33 car single split. That's about 14 more laps than I expected to get green. So, right on. Do that. Do it. What they talking about? Ooh, there's somebody that has gotten into some trouble. Catch up, seven. Car. Pit road is now open. It's our open. They've got a smoke show going on. Should be dead. Never killed a guy. He popped it off the wall and just came halfway down the track. Checking that real hard before. Alright, Colton, you're in your We're gonna come get tires. If you pit, uh you like guys. Okay, that guy's a middle school. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is fifty miles per hour. Damn it, I pitted. We'll need to stop again. Pit box mm -hmm. ten. Blizzy party in victory lane after the race. Three, two. One. Right here. All right. 89.90. That wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought I was being worse on the right front, but that's not too bad. I'll take that. Where are we gonna close that? Go. 88 across the board on the right side. Mid 90s on the left. Line up, single uh, send my tires in the chat once I get the chance. Since the guy was asking. Hey, leaders, what were your tires at like um, the yeah. one or four? He wasn't asking me specifically. 9192. 9192. So they were doing better. Oh my god, I was doing it. I was really saving. Holy smokes, 9492. Yeah, that guy was going to catch me eventually. I had 95, 93. So they're definitely doing better on tires. 96 and 98. Should stay down. It's are open. What were you doing? I don't know. Looks like... I don't know, man. I turned my fast lap on six. So I've had we had a couple people line. stay out, so... I am now terrified. These are always the scariest moments. Why is the thir where, where does the 33 come from? From pit road. Did you, did you take two? 33 yeah. is. The 33 yeah. is the 400 I rating guy. Interesting. That's not gonna My be good. Left, going to nine, 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 nine. Maybe it'll be okay, but that's really scary. He's gonna be a bit of a fish out of water right there, I think. I'm glad I'm in front of that. I really hope he proves me wrong, though. He does really well. I'm always rooting for the higher number guys to finish well. I mean, look at that. He gets 111 I rating if he finishes right there in ninth. That's like... <laughs> That's over 25% of his total I rating. Meanwhile, if I finish 6th, I break even, get exactly 0, I ready. 
interesting to look at. I actually remembered to put up Race Lab this time. I forgot doing the last league race, unfortunately. But that one, I guess, doesn't matter if you're looking at the high rating, because no high rating awarded for league races. But if this, uh, if we start getting split strategy, we'll be able to see where guys have pit and such. I like all these A 4.9s around us. 4.6 right there is pretty good, too. Good to know guys around us are generally pretty safe drivers. But like I said, one thing I'm really going to be concerned about, first and second, like the, uh, they did not get tires. So we're going to have to be very careful. Watch out um, in case anyone gets into the back of them up there. And uh, when we approach, know that they might be a little slower through the corners. All very important stuff to know. So far, though, this race has been much better than expected. We'll see if it falls apart now, but a 14-ish uh, lap start. I'm really interested to see how two compared to four fare. I hope we get a good green run here so we can learn. 14 lap starts, pretty good. I'll be the pet dummy. Exceeded my expectations. Any time I've ever only taken two, it's ended in disaster. Will the leaders spin their tires? Yeah, that's, my, that's the case for me, but... Man, I don't know. Who knows? Always makes the car handle a little weird. I got so much left camber on the left side, and that's my outside on my left side. It goes really fast. It goes to shit quick. Comparatively speaking, I can't just leave the left on. Oh, we're not going? What the fuck? Green flag, green flag. I don't know what that start was. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I don't know who the fuck that is. You guys got to pay attention, man. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm driving five people in cars behind me. Mm -hmm. Outside. Clear high. Lifting off for the six. Outside. Still there. Just getting sideways. Hey, on the reset next time, how about when we all go, we all go. Get back in here. Preach. Oh, I blinked out. Why does it do the thing? What? Well, we had two guy on the tires above us. They were off. He's yeah, swerving at us. <laughs> I'm scared. All right. We have survived. We have passed the guys that did not take tires, I believe. All right. Oh, we got got hit there. That blue car did that to both of us. How was the ride? Fucking people there. Ooh, that's not turning. That's interesting. I've never felt quite that way before. Or it got so tight on exit on new tires. I wonder if that was an arrow push thing or something. I'm not sure, but I'm sure it wasn't good on the right front. So let's take it easy a little bit. That's a little bit tighter than I was expecting. Trying to pass me on the outside. It's cool if he wants to do that. I will file in. Alright. That's cool. I should be trying to be a little bit nicer to my tires this time anyway, and the 6 is not going to be nice to his tires if he tries to pass everybody on the outside. Ooh, he's going to fall off hard if he does that too much. That's my assumption. Hey, you can't keep doing that shit, dude. So, I mean, I, I would let you go. <laughs> Easy now. We were limping it, so I, uh, I closed it down. I closed it. 
get around me. Don't lift it into the corner and then expect me not to take, close it. Hey, I I'm trying to not hit you in the ass while you're pressing the brake in the center of the corner. That's why I'm with it. I'm letting off the gas. All tires of tire saving. He's been arguing like back there about tire saving and the pace that they're going, I guess. I don't know exactly what's going on. But kind of check up in the corner there. Guys ahead, kind of slow through there. Yeah, man, two tires on the move. No. I'm putting my fucking life back here. I'm gonna be extra careful down here. Last time I had a push when I was on the low side. Heading through three and four, so that time I was a little bit softer and it seems like it worked out a little bit better. Can't clear us up there. He really pushed <laughs> through that middle line. Interesting. I'll come down here. I want to try to clear this guy. Keep low. Outside, clear. Get back in fourth position. Okay. Remember that one time that we all got like 4x on a restart? Sounds like they had a really bad accordion effect on the restart there, because it was kind of a weird that one stutter time start. Back in band camp? Uh, doing like a cut down line, taking it a high entry and then kind of moving down to the bottom. It seems to be pretty good. I'm hoping it's good on the tires too, but we'll see. We can push this guy past. Alright, P3. Unless we get crossed over here. I feel like we've moved forward without having to push as well, which is very nice. The next car's the leader. Of course, even when I'm not trying to push, I've been bad on the tires, so... <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Now now it's it's I like how much tape not to put on the crowd of this thing. Yeah, I'm moving that weapon These right guys now. are fighting hard side by side. 73. I would be 69 to 75, and I'm going to be around that throttle. Take a little bit of apron right there. Driving in hard. Below me. It's not going to get a runoff doing that, though. Nice. Looks like you second guessed. Good Taking the apron there. Ooh, why is he checking up so hard on entry? Almost got us running to from behind. He might be losing tire. I think we gotta get around him ASAP. Patience on the throttle. We'll take the draft option, not the apron option. Ooh, okay, caution. Stop, wrecking! I'm trying to see tires! 
Ah. Oh, that's a big one, too. Got lots of guys in the junkyard. Oh, the six was in front of me. Okay. I thought I was in front of him, but that's okay. I got it. They're dead. They're dead. Well, now what do we do? Thoughts and prayers. I think we got to save tires here. Oh, 31st and 32nd racing for the whole whopping last place. Actually, no, we don't. We got to take fuel. That's a, That would be a terrible idea. We got to make sure we can get as much fuel as we can into this thing. Dude, that's kind of straight away. I just know I wish we didn't have caution because my tire was starting to come in. Exactly. My tires were. I was catching up to Steven, Jeff, Jeffrey, Brandon. Oh, it's coming. Alright. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I just, have to, I just have to get like eight seconds back. The best bad guy in the world. We're gonna follow the best bad guy in the West into the pits, maybe. They might not come in. I'm coming in. If only for fuel. Look out for the pit speed limit, the leader. Perkins. We'll be taking tires as well, though, since we're here. We'll need to stop again. But we will, we will have to be very careful with our last set. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Kind of a tricky entry there, the guy pitting right in front of me. 90-89, ooh, nice. All clear, punch it. 95-93. You only have one tire step remaining. Line up. Okay. Three. I'm, gonna turn two, turn two back. I'm okay with wearing the tires a little bit more if my right rear is worn more. Two point six. Two point six. So we are going to be wanting to save some fuel here. I made up more ground than I thought. <laughs> Rolling it down here. <laughs> Didn't really want to try to pass guys like that. Well, mine were 98 and 99 still. 98 and 99? What? Are you. No, they weren't. <laughs> no, they weren't. I believe. I'm serious if they were. Ow. If they were going real soft, I guess I could see that. Yeah, I got all 98, 99, and even the 100 on the left front, in, uh, inside of the left front. Hmm. That means I'm not driving. 99.50, yeah, whatever. You're probably right. <laughs> Goddamn, Steven. <laughs> Those are tires you get after doing a burnout. Looks like rear. Steven was laying it on the wall, pushing that cushion up. <laughs> Hell yeah. 2.3 gallons. I think we're at the 20s, Alpha doing it. 20, car. 2.3 gallons. 2.3 gallons. Gonna have to save a little bit. I think we should be able to save a little bit on the track. I don't fully understand why the 20 is here. Well, the next car should be lap 50 or 66. 69. Yeah, are we going to go in there with 15 laps and get a caution again? We're going all over the end. Are you optimistic to say 15? What is this 20 doing? Go ahead and wreck again. I don't care. I'm so confused by what his plan is. Oh, you did not help me out. I started dead 30th. He's gonna get himself a penalty. Just one more wreck, one more caution, and then we can go green. Half that 20, car.
Two gallons. Two gallons to save. I think we can do it. That's a within reason. If necessary, I'm sure we're going to get another caution, but if necessary, I think we can make it to the end on that. Two gallons. Yeah, I'm up recovered. We started at 23rd or 23rd. Just realized we had another guy stay out, I guess, is the 22. Interesting. Two gallons. Get ready, going green. Alright, getting ready. Alright, this time when the car starts going, we all go. Pace car is on. Uh -huh. He gets tire spin. Did he almost wreck? That's why I'm always scared of guys that don't take tires. Do very unpredictable things. Car outside. Clear outside. Okay, comes up the next car is Perkins. At least he didn't crash in front of us. I've seen that before. Oh. Yikes. Okay. You figured it out. <laughs> that was scary. But we are okay. Lift it off, let it transpire, and then continued. <laughs> 2.7. Okay, okay, that's that went up a lot. Very curious. Hmm. Sounds like it's still not entirely sure how much we can save. I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. I'm going to be lifting a little bit more than I have been, I think. Hey, maybe that'll force me to be better on the tires for once. fair number of people got taken out in the past couple of cautions. Might be more likely to actually make it to the end now. Four gallons. At least we got some space around us. I can do what I want to do through the corners and not have to worry about anyone running me over or anything. We take it down here, shave a little bit of distance off too. That'll make a huge difference, right? I'd like to be in their draft a little bit more too to also help. But. Uh, actually, it was in the infield. He's right, you know. What's it now, Clue Chief? I should have the fifth fight in the sand worth watch. 2.6 gallons. So it's going Somebody up. Somebody might be climbing the fan. That's a little bit. Bring it out. Bring it out. Turn one. Didn't somebody do that, Richmond? 2013? Hmm. And I think I quit for a if I'm not correct. Oh, yeah. Also, 24. There was a wall there. Very weird situation here. You know. So I don't want to lift off a, a whole bunch. Just lose a bunch of track position. But I also would like to make it to the end if I can. 2.4. I'm just a tad loose right now. I'm just going to do hyper uh, tire saving. And that'll help us if we go long run anyway. And uh, maybe being off the throttle will help the gas situation as well. It's just what I'm going to have to do. And if guys pass me, that is fine. 2.4 gallons. 2.4 gallons. 
Well, this number 20 will probably pull off at some point. Coming up on half light here. And then short way around. Drop the tape. You won't blow up. Yeah, I forgot to drop the tape when I went in. Hmm. 2.3, okay, we're heading the right direction. Difficult situation, but kind of a fun one to see if we can uh, manage this correctly. Ooh, 2.1. Like that. I think we might be okay. We have enough laps left out here. I think we can save that much if we're going to be heading in the, in the right direction. Like that. And the pace is only going to get slower the longer we get in the run and have to lift off the gas more. So I think we might be okay. We will still obviously keep an eye on it. Guys ahead are pulling away a little bit. I'm not so sure they're doing much tire saving, though. Could be wrong. Alright, heading to lap 50. Two gallons. Two gallons. Alright, still heading the right direction. The guy way up the track, getting out of the way. Thank you, sir. Good. Clear. Right. Shallow entry, but it allows me to get off the gas even more. <laughs> Alright, that went up a little bit. Get me away from you. I think my crew chief doesn't quite know how much we need to save. Which is just like uh, I don't know either. Save as much as you can. How about that? Okay. 10 4. Stay high, buddy, baby. Check out back in in a little bit. Let's see how we're doing. 3 is catching up to us a little bit. Like I said, that's fine. Why is he on the low side of the track? Okay. Well, 20 will say hi here. He's kind of driving in the middle of the track. That's kind of concerning. But he figured it out. Car feels great, of course, because we're not really driving too hard. Underdriving it? I don't know. Just kind of trying to do what I feel like I need to do. Point nine gallons, and um, I'm pretty sure I have the crew chief set up to give me an extra lap of fuel, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Put my little thing on. Okay, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. Guy behind's pushing a little harder in one and two than I am. That's fine. Like I said, if he wants to get by, I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Let it happen. Be alongside this guy at the worst time. Outside, he's clear. We don't get the entry we want at one and two. 
I guess just into one more accurately. Three might just be using my draft to help with his fuel situation. He's probably glad that I'm here. Still 1.9. I joked about like taking the apron to take less track, but you think like every lap I take just that little bit less distance around, and if I'm going to be close enough on fuel that I'm running out like right here, well imagine taking running out right there and then adding all that little bit of distance I uh, saved from taking the apron, added on to that, and that might be the difference. Unless you're going to take out the whole front of the field and do that. As long as you get back to pit road, you should be okay. I just don't want you to call the caution from parking it. I think if you run the apron and stop it, you'll call the caution here. I can not around for a while. He's, fine. He's just saying it could blow, blow at any second. Okay. Yeah, go on. I was assuming flashing red at the end of the front stretch. Blowing the motor. What they're talking about, I wasn't paying attention. The one has gotten around the three behind us. 1.6. 1 1.6. I like that. It might be okay. I might be. Uh, might be able to just drive how I want and still be able to save because we are a lower oh. pace now. See how the estimated fuel reacts to pushing just a little bit harder. There we gained a tenth and a half through one and two because I was comfortable with pushing a little bit more. One point seven, okay, it went up by point one. <laughs> Man, this is kind of this is crazy. This is fun. It's like. Uh, it's like a little mini game within the race, like, ooh, you gotta try to use the throttle right. Save that fuel. It's kind of like an added layer of intrigue. That's why I like these strategy races. I'm kind of loose in three and four now. I've saved enough tire that I think my right rear is probably more worn than my right front, so it's getting me a little loose, but I'm okay with that. If I can handle it, it's gonna make me faster. Oh, guys. <sighs> Yeah. I hide it with these two bit lap safe caution. I want to know which one of you guys is in last place wreck. I got into somebody just now. Why don't you go small corn, dude? I'm absolutely pissed. Uh, I can tell a whole lot of wham wham. Exactly. All the wham wham. Deep road's open. Well, if that caution has come out, we've all got them probably green bike heads stops anyways for fuel. <laughs> no. Uh, would've been fine. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. Is this 20 gonna make it so that I can't catch up to the guys ahead pitting? Yes. I hate when this happens. Speed. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Yeah, no, we were, we were pretty good. Pit box team, 10. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Turn him now. 84, 80. I was being pushed, by the way. Yeah. Well, 
Oh, it's Aiden. You hear him, right? That's it for tires. Make them last the rest of the Alright. Line up single file. Yeah, whoever I ran into, I was being pushed by somebody else behind me. It's not there after being I think the file, six might have taken two tires. Unless he has the best pet crew in the world. I think I said pet crew. <laughs> Adorable. But no, I meant pit crew. Hmm. Well, I guess we drive now. Don't know how much more saving we need to do. I don't know. What if we get a late caution? We're out of tires. I don't know if anybody is going to have tires left, though, because it really has looked like most guys have gone in. We might have, like, a couple of guys that still have tires from taking a little bit of risk earlier, but are they even still in the race? Is my question. I'm trying to remember who it was. Oh, it's all good, man. I think maybe Tony in the 27, was he one of the guys that took no tires at some point? Or the other Tony, Scott A. Tony, in the 18. I can't remember who it was that didn't take tires. The 22, I think he was the one that got loose on the start at one point. Maybe that 29, I think. It'll be interesting to see uh, if anyone has tires at the end to spare. But these uh, cautions have been spaced just right, where we really did have to take them. Unless we really wanted to roll the dice here in Vegas and save a set. Some guys might have done that. We'll see how it turns out. Are open. 21 going to get the wave around. 6, I assume, is on maybe 2 or no tires. So we're going to have to watch out for him, see how he launches. And we're going to be on the outside. I think I can be a little faster on the outside, potentially. Just because I can hold it more steady on the dead tires. Uh, it'll be in front of me, took no tires, right? You're on the outside this time. I'm going green next time, bye. Jacob, Colton, Jordan, no tires? No, they all took tires. The only other person that took two was Matt. They were six. Yeah, I took four. Oh, so you guys all took tires? Yes, sir. Everybody took tires besides the six. They only took two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I took none. It must have been far back enough back. It didn't matter. I'm, uh, I'm doing a little bit of a... I'm hoping for something. Don't be the cause of it. Yeah, I hope those guys behind heard that. Uh, you know what? Six is going to be really loose. He already almost looped it earlier on what I assume was four tires, so I'm going to keep a very sharp eagle eye on him on these cold tires, especially oh, two know. tires. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would have taken two I'm tires knowing I had already almost looped right it right earlier in the race, right but seven, seven, hey, that's not my fault, Mike. The pace car is off. Be ready. Steven, this guy's a parent old tires, I'm not gonna dive in there. Oh, oh inside got a much better start. Inside. And below's gonna get below me, but I think I'll have a good runoff here, except I'll be blocked by the seven. Except maybe not. Oh, okay, we're stuck behind two tires. Shoot! Whoa! That was scary. Woo. I thought I was dead. I'll be real with you. I thought I was dead. <laughs> uh, so we will pass the number six. Just gonna take high here and go around him. 
See ya. And we will try to catch up to this four. Maybe work with them a little bit. Maybe catch up to the four. He might be okay. He might be pretty fast. I'll try to catch up to him though, and maybe get some draft. I think that might be the way to go. Not much time left anyway. The next car the lead up in front is now one point six. Will I regret being mean to the tires early in this round? Probably. Fastest lap for Martin, thirty point three. That's the fastest lap of the race. That lap time was thirty point one. Oof. These bumps. Little bit of that draft. That's worth something. A little bit of that cut down on our exit. We're gonna follow in the footsteps of the four. Two seconds back to fourth. I like seeing that. So even if I fall off, I think I might be able to maintain that. We'll see about it, but <laughs> hoping I can do that. Twenty-two coming out of the pits. Please go high. Your water temperature's creeping up. Request denied. Pass left. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Okay, now he's gonna go high. It all worked out. I don't know why my right rear isn't there. I had plenty of right rear. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Aww. Gonna start doing the full lift. Try to get back on the right rear. Last run, I was more on the right rear than the right front, so. This works out. No wrecks, too much space. No wrecks, though, please. Oh man, those bumps! That really hurt me right there. Got me all kinds of off course. That sucked. Come on, that, please. P2. Getting close to that apron. That was cutting it a bit close. Pretty good. He might be able to keep the tires on it and be fast. I've got to remember we're rocking a free setup too. I mean, maybe he is as well. Maybe I'm making up excuses for myself, but he might be able to do some things I can't. But. Never want to make that an excuse. Oh, hey, lap traffic. Curious. driving a little harder just entering turn one just so it turns sideways maybe see if that does anything for me that was kind of not clear lost time i was hoping it would be fast and be a little faster or, or wait <laughs> be fast and uh be on the right rear from the low 30. didn't quite work out thank you that last lock was at 31.2 Outside. Outside, clear. Oh, a 30 just I fine? Hmm. Yeah. 
Hey, don't feel bad. I did too, man. Oh, this is gonna be so bad if uh, oh, no, <laughs> we get a caution. I, I really no tires left. Now, like, come on. The guys that save tires are gonna have a field day <laughs> if we get out of a caution. Look out, Dan. I've been really bad to the tires. I think this three is gonna come past me. See about anyone behind. I'm trying to take a more tire saving approach now though. Try to salvage my tires just a bit. Now we just gotta hope the end of the race comes quicker or sooner rather than later. So it's clear I've not done very good on the Tigers here. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna take my line whether he wants to put his nose there or not. Come on, low, Jack. I'm just running the VRS, so I can't keep up with y'all guys, no way. Maybe he'll wear his tires out trying to set up a pass. I doubt it, though. I'm running the VRS to Adam Forrest. I ain't on both. That lap time was the 12.6. Outside. Keep low. Eh, he's got us. Stay low. The car the high I'm going to move down. Staying low. I'm staying low. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm just hanging on to your life. Yeah, I see that. I got plenty of tire. Alright, we'll follow three. Get some draft for a minute. Take the late decision between take the eight or nine. Yeah, I'm just hanging on to your life. Yeah, I see that. I got plenty of tire. I'm going to run the car. Alright, we'll follow three. Get some draft for a minute. Take the late decision between eight or nine. Can we hold on to third? We got 1.2 behind us. Coming up to six laps to go. Almost feels like it's uh, coming back to me. Interesting. 30 coming through. Ooh, 3 has trouble with the uh, lap car. Outside. Clear outside. Inside. Five back to go. Still there, hold your line. <laughs> we'll take the high line. Inside. Clear inside. <laughs> Just having fun at this point. Oh, wow, that turned better than I thought. Wow, that stunk butt. That was terrible. That was stank butt right there. Some stank butt driving. <laughs> Drove down at the apron. That's embarrassing. It just turned more than I thought. I thought it was going to be more tight down there. And it just... I turned the wheel and the car turned and I was like, what? That's allowed to happen. So, <laughs> I don't think we had any chance, but I wanted to <laughs> make a better effort than that. <laughs> Look at all that time I lost. Okay. 
So three might not like me very much <laughs> for fighting him like that, but uh, I saw a glimmer of hope and I wanted to go for it. I'll be honest, I don't think he had a chance of catching him up there in first anyway. Two more, let's go. <laughs> but we'll never know. Sorry, three. I think we should be able to hold on to third with point seven behind us. I think we should be okay. Damn it. White flag! Alright! No caution. Love it. Okay, Hunter, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. That lap was a one point eight. Drive it hard, no tires needed anymore. Ah, uh, it's not going to do anything worse. Go in, Jordan. Whew. Thank you. Good race, good win. All right. Yeah, good win, man. Good race, Jordan. Well done. Decent drive. All right. There's the chicken. Good race. I tried to play a strategy. You didn't work out. Nice run. Solid work. Yeah, sorry to slow you down a little bit, 3. I, I had to fight you a little bit. I didn't want to just completely give it up. <laughs> nah, you're all right, man. I don't have that time to do it anymore. It was fun. Yeah, sure it was. All right, he's a good sport about it. That's cool. I was trying that thing. Alright. Pull it over in a weird spot for some reason. <laughs> Get out of the car. 7582 at the end. Yeah. That was hard on the tires. But it worked out okay. Every time I come out of four loose. P3 is pretty good. I love it. Well, I'll go high, but that didn't work. Either way, it was fun. I thought he was going to get me. Especially after qualifying 11th, moving up to 3rd. Very happy with that. Like I was saying at the beginning, like I was kind of like, okay, maybe top 10 is what I can hope for here. So, getting a podium. Hey, that's an A+. Plus from uh, this rubric. So, we will gain a roughly 18 I rating. <laughs> it's better than the 3 I got last race. We're slowly inching our way higher. Who cares, anyway? Uh, we will see the incidents. It was so much cleaner than I expected. I am very happy. Uh, I was really thinking we might get a ton of cautions with the single split here. And we had a couple cautions spread out weirdly that made some interesting decisions necessary, but that's, that's kind of nice. I like that. So here's the 26 getting into the wall on lap one. I think I saw this in my mirror. Some more lap one shenanigans. There's the 15 not turning into the corner for some reason. Like if you're if you got someone entering in the middle right here, you're anticipating them to go one lane lower. And so the, the 17, if he even was side by side with him getting a two wide call, the 17 is expecting him to be down at the bottom anyway. So 17 is feeling comfortable to go ahead and take middle lane. But the 15 just charges straight ahead instead, and then they end up in the same spot. I would call that on the 15, for sure. That's kind of an unpredictable move right there. 21, losing it. He is taking an unscheduled pit stop. No caution, though, because he's down on the apron. So, a little early for the green flag pit stop there, but we'll see if that strategy works out for him. Bobby Labani getting up into the wall. Uh, this was the guy with his first race here. That's all right. Still learning. 22 forgets to turn into the corner. Whoa. That's a nice chunk of the wall. Three wide. I think the guy in the middle lane was watching the guy above him get into the wall, maybe turn down a little bit too much. Here's the guy, the 400 eye reading guy. 
Just putting around in the back. It's actually in 14th. So, not really putting around. He's kind of just doing okay, <laughs> to be honest. I'm not sure why he's... I don't know. I guess he's not off base. It sounded like his engine was really quiet, but... No, he's running just fine. It's too bad he, something happened to him. It's, uh, that would have been a nice finish had he been able to keep it there. I've got some... Oh! Some tightness out of the corner, and I believe this is our first caution. I did not expect him to bounce off the wall that hard, so he just was trying to run the high line and did not get it to turn on exit. And, uh... I, th I guess he must have had a ton of wheel cranked into it, because rather than kind of keeping it up there, he pulls it off the wall hard, and there's a 13 there. And they both take massive damage. Huge hit. Isn't that where Jeff Gordon hit and, like, got pretty hurt at some point in his career? I think that was at Las Vegas here. Right on that wall that's angled very badly. And they both take huge hits. Those are some race-ending hits, I imagine, right there for both of them. That stinks. Ouch. So, Twix... The Twix Teen. What number is Twix Teen? That... How did it go from 26 to Twix Teen? <sighs> What's wrong with me? So here's the stack up on the restart. I don't know... The leader was kind of making weird moves. I think he's way down at the bottom for some reason. And then he, like, turns to the right, and I think maybe that made some people think he was going or something? I don't know. At what point did they... Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the leader did here. So he moves up. What is he doing? Yeah, he's doing this really weird start where he's just like slowly getting going faster instead of just hitting the gas. You see, he goes from pace speed of about, I, I think the pace speed's 60, and it's like he's got light throttle in it, and it's just moving forward, and so guys behind are seeing him speed up a little bit, and they're like, okay, I guess we're going, and then some people were like, no, you didn't hit the throttle fully yet. That was just really strange, to be honest with you. So he finally actually decides to go right there, and by this point, guys have been running into the back of each other. It's like this. 17, really. Okay, that's what happened. The 11 jumps. Because, well, you you thought it was going, because it kind of was. But it causes a huge accordion. The 17 smashes into the back of them. I think that's maybe the worst thing that happened. I think everybody else... They're way, like, spread apart for some reason anyway. So that was the major contact we saw, and then everybody's everywhere after that, near the back. 22's. Kyle bushing it. That's a black flag, right? That's definitely a black flag. I mean, these guys aren't going at all for some reason, but I think passing on the left, he might have gotten a black flag there. B1 goes and finds the wall. Assume this is just some wall. Ooh, that's a pretty good one, though. That's, uh, okay. What is going on? <laughs> so, there's that guy dragging the wall up there that we saw before. That guy barely avoids him. Our team's up here going really slow for some reason. I thought I heard shifting. I 
And then he just go, drives up and hits him. That's really strange. <laughs> like, this is an A4.9 as well. I don't know what's going on, but he just kind of drives up and hits the guy. And then the 20 is unfortunately there as well. I believe that was an immediate caution, was it not? No, that was not a caution. Alright, so because there was no one behind them, that didn't bring out a caution. Kind of glad. 18 goes up and hits the 33. Probably hit those bumps, if I had to guess. Sent them up a little bit. I think we're going to see anything but a wall hit here. I don't know why he didn't turn through the pile, but that's what... Oh, we hop in there. 12 almost gets collected. Guy's having some real trouble holding on to the car. That's wall. Guy's hitting the wall pretty hard, though. These are not baby wall hits. These are big boy wall hits. <laughs> that was pretty medium. Mm -hmm. Like, teenage wall hit, I guess. Then he stays there for a while. Mm hmm, was this a caution? 28's trying to go around the outside, and then the 32. Uh, 28 needs to fade out toward the wall if he's going to be trying to pass around the outside there. Kind of a weird way to get your nose on someone. But I guess that one could, might be. You might be able to debate that one a little bit. Did that bring out a caution? That one did. Okay. So if you got guys crashing. I, oh yeah, this is the junkyard we came around and saw. Lots of guys with damage. I don't know what we're doing back here. Uh, what happened? <laughs> We're, I don't know why we're slowing down so much right here, but it causes everyone to check up and then get in the back of that guy. I don't, I don't know why we're slowing down right here, though. Kind of hard to expect that to happen, but you do have to be aware of what's in front of you and not run into the back of them. But kind of weird. Then we've got Pit Road Circus going on. The incredible 23-point turn. He makes it. That's going to hit the track position, though. 24 on the wall. What else we got? 21. Doing nothing, I guess. 18 comes way down. Almost into the 10. 21 kind of off the pace, they might have damage or something, but they're getting under the wall. There's me trying to get around him. Always try to give the lap cars a little bit extra room because, well, you'd kind of expect them to be just about a half lane higher, but I'm not going to cross that line, that's for sure. In fact, I'm going to give about half a car length, a car width of extra room just in case they decide they want to be over the line themselves. We make it around. Seven's gonna find some wall. And the 29 just gonna drive up and take out the 27. Just gets tight and decides not to get off the gas, I guess. I think I remember the 29 mad at somebody during this race. I don't know if it was after this, but I sure hope it wasn't, because it was his fault. Just comes up and gets him. Uh-oh. Whoa! 14. Barely dodges it. Is the 10 getting pushed?
What's pit road speed? Pit road speed's 50. So... And he seems to be going just fine. This guy, if anything, is risking speeding. So I don't know why he feels the need to come up and bump that guy. Oops. And that just doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> so the ten's trying to shove him out of the way, I guess. I mean, if you're faster than a guy, and like you just are really not wanting to be patient for them, like just get down here so you can drive through him, I guess. Like it's better than trying to shove someone. I don't know. Weird. Why are we seeing this? I don't know. Thing. And I believe this was the final restart, is it? Oh, I remember this. That knocked a couple guys out of cont contention there at the end. That probably would have been a tougher fight for us. I believe it did go green to the end from here, though. So we had a nice run to the end. I like that. Yes, sir. It did go green to the end, so... What happened? Oh, the one just decides to run into the back of him. He was not going fast enough for his tastes. And, uh, there's me getting stuck behind two tires up there. How'd that work out for the two tires? Uh, 13th. I don't know if, uh, I don't know where they were beforehand, but... Hmm. Yeah, he just gets him on the left rear, and that was enough to send him sideways, and... Lose him a ton of time as he has to head through the grass. And then we never saw him again. So that was a guy that was probably going to finish ahead of us. But he left rear someone. And we didn't see him again. He made a disappearing act. Whoa. 24 getting loose. I assume there's a penalty going on right here. That's why that guy's pitting. Looks like they figured it out. No caution from that. It looks like we had a couple of chances for cautions. Had a couple of points here. Team just not uh, keeping it straight on the straightaway. That's not going to turn. 15 at a wall. Pretty good. Wall. Consequences of said wall. 18 way off the gas mid-corner, and the 29's going to do what he did before and drive up the track a little bit. Although, I don't, I'm not sure if he was expecting the 18 to be in the middle lane right there. It kind of just ended up in the same spot, and thankfully didn't amount to anything. The 1... Not really doing anything, but we did get the uh, lap car of the 30 up there. And then the 22, kind of being in the way... Installing him even more. Wall. Assuming that's some wall. Yes, it is. 22. In front of a 7. See, this is why I don't expect the lap car to give the exact amount of room they need to. Like, did he come off the wall a little bit? Yeah, but you can't really expect the 22 to be... 22 car in a single split race to be perfectly precise and keep it right next to the wall. So that's why you would find me down here instead of giving minimum room. Because then you run, end up running into somebody. So that's a good uh, example of why I leave extra room for uh, lap cars to work with. And for myself to work with. So we're getting lots of guys on the wall. Trying to move through it. Mr. Two Tires. Probably hitting a critical point on some of the tires. As we're reaching the end of this thing. 19 on the wall. Whoa. Thankfully no collision there. <laughs> They've got some, a major dent in the back right there. Somebody uh, unleashed the Ultra Beast. Right into the right, or the middle of the rear of that car. 29. Pushing up. Out of four, 
Oh, thank goodness he's down there and not bringing out a caution at the end. Unless, was that the last lap for everybody else? It might have been. I think that might have been the race. Maybe not. I think we're still going, actually. So thank goodness he was down there and didn't bring out a caution. He's having some handling issues. He had handling issues all the way through the... the I don't know what you call that. Trial. Guys just struggling to make it to the end a little bit. The one car still in the top five. And uh, that looks like it's it. Alrighty. I'm very happy with that. Uh, I was a little concerned that since I didn't have the initial speed that maybe the we'd have some trouble this race but thankfully I was kind of right I guess that despite my best efforts to overdrive the car seemed like the long run this car came in pretty well and we got to get ourselves a bronze medal so I'm pretty happy with that even in a 1.8k strength of field we had some fast guys finish ahead of us 3.6 and 4.3 and uh, finish ahead of guy that was a 6.1 so uh, some stiff competition around us so I can't feel too bad about a P3 and I don't think I would ever feel bad about a P3 unless it was a three car race so <laughs> that'll do it I hope you enjoyed our race here at Las Vegas I had some good fun nice uh, clean race and much cleaner than expected overall given a single split so Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.